Dean, Dak Prescott, waiting patiently. Now about to get his turn. And now it's Devontae Turpin. From the two. Across the 20, up near the 24. And that's where we will see this Dallas offense led by Dak Prescott. See some feistiness there down. And here is Prescott, who just had a sensational season. The best of his career, right? He led the league in touchdown passes and was up there in a million other categories. Yeah, and he's going to find himself up there in the MVP race. You have to imagine right now him, Brock Purdy, Lamar Jackson. Those three got to be at the top of the list. And it's the number one scoring offense in the league, but they take it to another level here at home. Tony Pollard with a seam up the middle, chucking forward his Pollard out across the 30. That's a good run on first down. And it's interesting with Pollard and the season that Dak had. I don't know that anybody in the league had a better season than C.D. Lamb did. And I know he wasn't first in the league in receiving yards, but he was first, second, or third in almost everything. And we're going to point out throughout the course of this game the ability to move him around. It's very hard for Joe Barry, the defensive coordinator for Green Bay, to find him and put a plan together and take him away. Three tight ends here, though. They get it to Pollard. It's a different formation. He gets maybe one against this Packers defense. And as you said in the open, the game probably comes down to this matchup. How does this Packers defense do against this number one offensive Dallas? Yeah, I think it's everything because you go back to what Green Bay was able to do in that opening drive the run pass balance, the play action under center. You can only play that style of offense if you're not trailing. So all eyes on this defense. They got the work cut out for them against Dallas. Third down. Prescott can't find anyone. Now going to take it himself, but he's going to get it more. Prescott racing up near midfield, and he slides down with a first down for the Cowboys. So really well defended. They're going to play CeeDee Lamb. They're going to what they call cloud him. So they're going to play a corner underneath and then two high safeties in the back end to make sure they give enough attention to 88. And then Dak sees that there's nowhere to go with the ball. So he's been able to pick up first downs all year with his legs and picks up a big one there. First down will throw it. Time. Coming near side there. Jeff Ferguson makes the catch. And he's hit right away for no gain. Well played by Isaiah McDuffie. So to bring up second down, those Cowboys just showed you on the home right what they've done at home, what they've done scoring first, as opposed to when the other team scores first, right? It's, that's why Green Bay did what they did. Now second down, there's Rico Dowell getting his first carry. That's not going to be much. noting here early, and, and we'll continue to point it out as the game goes on, but this Joe Barry-style defense traditionally on early first and second down, they want to play with five down linemen. They want to be big and strong against the run, but as a result, they've been one of the worst first down pass defenses, and of course, that's where Dallas thrives, so continue to play in these four main fronts, give a little bit more help to their secondary. Third down, here's Prescott over the middle, Great catch, but could not bring it in. And up comes fourth down. Wade Walker tries to undercut it. The ball is just off the hands of CeeDee Lamb. And we talked about how important it was for this Green Bay defense to get some early stops. And after giving up the third down conversion to Dak and his legs, they regroup now and they're able to force a punt on the first time they're on the field. So now it's Brian Anger made his second Pro Bowl this year to punt it away. Jaden Reed back deep to Green Bay and make the catch and then he gets pumped. He's in for a penalty flag and he's going to get it. Fair catch, you fair one. 
Sam Williams was the man who ran into him. The question is, did he get blocked into him? That's what they're going to discuss right now. Let's see, Greg. I'm not sure if he actually did he hit him or not. Let's take a look. He's definitely close. I think that was a nice acting job there by Reed. And yeah. you can see the referees are discussing. We'll see what they come up with. And Mike McCarthy's telling Williams, and you got to just know where he is and just don't even make it close. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of contact there, but let's see what they think. Fair catch interference. Yes! So, Packers get a break with the penalty here. A little help, man. They have the football in the early. Horizon. We love our house. Great location, quiet street. The garage is a bit of a black hole. Yeah, everything just appears in the middle. She'll be back. Hey, we gotta clean this place out. See my winter coat in there? You can't hear me. Ugh, our coat is hitting us. Oh, my summer jams mix. The least guy come makes bundling a home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. You found my box of cords? Okay, honey, throw me the hose. For bundling made easy, go to gago.com. Feeling healthy by leaps and bounds. Making a dinner that makes their whole day and giving your best friend the best nutrients for their best life. Science did that. Iowa caucuses. The first presidential election results. Martha McCallum and Brett Baer anchor special live coverage. Democracy 24. Your freedom. Your vote. Right here on Fox News. America is watching. It's a whole new era. This is your love scene. This is your show. The future looks bright. That's what a franchise quarterback looks like. If you're a Packers fan, you are loving your new quarterback. Hey, I said that weeks ago, and they love him even more now because he's got him into the playoffs at his first year starting, and he has been everything and more from a leadership standpoint, from a comm standpoint, from a production standpoint. Look at the numbers. The last eight games, he's got 18 touchdowns and one interception, and he's got a 7 0 lead in this wild card matchup here against the Cowboys. On the fake. Love going deep, looking for Melton, who is covered well. Incomplete, really excellent coverage by J. Rod Kirsch, who was all over him. A nice job here by J. Rod Kirsch. Safety doing a great job staying stride for stride with Melton. Melton's a guy that's really just come on as of late. He spent most of the season on the practice squad, and since he's been activated, he's He's made an immediate impact. A nice shot there downfield by Jaron Kurtz. It was impressive. I mean, Melton had a 4 3 at the top. Kurtz is a big guy to keep up with there. That was well done. Second down. Yeah, 